I want to begin by thanking all of you for your patience and understanding during this trying time in our city's history. We are facing an invisible enemy and are responsible to one another for our health and safety. I believe in High Point, and I believe in each of you and your willingness to safeguard your neighbors by practicing proper social distancing and sanitation requirements. This is truly a time for families to help families and for neighbors to help neighbors. I also want to thank our business people, many of whom have had to endure more than their share of the burden during this time. The current emergency is threatening their ability to provide not only for their families, but also for the families of their employees. You are the risk takers, the entrepreneurs, and the innovators of our city. As a small business owner myself, know that I understand the pressures and burdens you are carrying during this time. Today, after consultation with health, emergency management, and other government officials from High Point, Greensboro, and Guilford County, Jeff Phillips, the chairman of the Guilford County Board, made the decision to allow Guilford County's stay-at-home order of March 26th to expire, as scheduled on April 16th, 2020. Because High Point is located in four counties, I issued companion orders which extended Guilford County's stay-at-home requirements to all of the city of High Point. As of midnight on April 16, 2020, my local order will also expire. What does this mean? High Point, Guilford County, and the state of North Carolina are still under a state of emergency due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Governor Roy Cooper's statewide stay-at-home order and his orders closing schools, restaurants, bars, and certain other businesses is still in effect, which means that essentially all the restrictions you have been living under remain in place. You must still stay at home unless absolutely necessary. All unnecessary travel is still banned. If you are over the age of 60 or have underlying health conditions that make you more susceptible to COVID-19, you should take heightened precautions. Gatherings of more than 10 people are not allowed with very limited exceptions. Social distancing rules are still in place. You will still be able to go to the grocery store, drug store, or other essential business to obtain essential items. There's no need to hoard food, toilet paper, or other essential items. You can still go outside to exercise and get fresh air. Some additional businesses will be able to reopen, but will be required to safeguard any patrons through stringent social distancing and sanitation requirements. Everyone must understand that while the city of High Point will do all that we can to safeguard public health, ultimately you are responsible for the protection and safeguarding of yourselves, your families, and your fellow High Pointers against COVID-19 by heeding warnings and taking proper precautions. I believe in you and your ability to make good decisions. When I was sworn in as your mayor, I took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of North Carolina. That means my ultimate responsibility, along with all elected officials, is to safeguard your freedom. Both as an attorney and as your mayor, I take that responsibility very seriously. My constitutional responsibility during the current emergency is to only impose those restrictions on your freedom that, with strict scrutiny, are absolutely necessary to protect public health. I also understand that people's lives are in the balance. In making those decisions, I weigh information from the medical community, emergency management staff, our own city staff, and our community, and my own faith and conscience. Ultimately, I believe in the people of High Point to exercise their freedom along with the responsibility to protect their families, friends, and neighbors. It is on that basis that I support Commissioner Phillips' decision to allow the county stay-at-home order to expire and why I will allow my order covering High Point to expire as well. Please understand that if our residents do not exercise their freedom responsibly or if the health emergency conditions change, more stringent re restrictions may have to be reimposed. Therefore, I implore each of you to obey the governor's orders and to continue heeding the CDC guidelines. Wash your hands often. Use hand sanitizer. Don't touch your face. Social distance. Stay home unless necessary. This crisis will end. We will come through it with new strength and resolve. Remember that each of us is responsible for all of us. I want to end by thanking all of you who have reached out to me with your support and your prayers during this time. I am praying for each of you and for our city, our state, and our nation. 
God bless you all. Thank you. For more information, visit highpointnc.gov slash COVID-19 or follow us on social media at City of High Point.